guys here is a tutorial on how to make coloring pages in canva as you can see this is the one that i've most recently made but we're going to start with an eight and a half by 11 so i can show you step by step go ahead and go to elements and grab a square and then squeeze it all the way to the corners don't worry trust the process and just make sure that it's nice and even and in the corners then we're going to go to border and we are going to choose just a plain thin border and the border weight being four is fine then we're going to go to the color and we're going to get rid of the color now you have a cute little border like most coloring pages have next we're going to go ahead and head to our text and open it up and i decided that i was going to do like an alphabet type of coloring page something cool for toddlers and preschoolers so i went ahead and typed in c is for and then i'm going to size this up to about 95 um just so that it's nice and visible for the person that is going to be coloring it and i'm also going to change the font to my favorite fredoka once you change the font, hit on effects and then you're going to hit splice once you hit splice, you're going to also change the color of the splice to white so that it's able to be colored in. Next, we're going to head to elements and I'm going to type in cat and then I'm going to type in see all and then I just clicked on static and free. We want to make sure that everything is free and usable and I'm scrolling down just trying to find an outline of a cat. Most of these are colored in, are already pretty animated, but I wanna look for an outline like this one. So I clicked on it, added it to the page, and I am sizing it up so that once again, it is nice and visible and the person can color it in. I think that cat is so cute. And then guys, believe it or not, that's it that's a coloring page go ahead and download it um, download it as a png and a pdf print um, you can do it as both it just depends on the person's printer but i like to download both because we're also going to be uploading these to etsy let's do another one so this one we're going to do d is for and we're going to once again push it up to the top we're gonna resize it up to 94, or 95 rather, and then we're also gonna change the font to Fredoka, and then we're going to splice it. So hit effects, hit splice, change the splice color to white so that that is even able to be colored in. And then we're gonna go to elements and type in the word dog. Go ahead and click see all, and then you're gonna to head to the filter and type in and hit static and free once you do that find an outline of a dog that you like i liked this one and you're going to go ahead and size it up so that it's able to be colored in guys it is so easy to make coloring pages this is perfect for parents this is perfect for teachers summer is coming up and those kids are going to have the cabin fever and the summer blues so you want to keep them entertained you can also go to elements and type in coloring page and they even have some already done and really cute. And I saw this cute cupcake and I said, hmm, let's make one for the cupcake from the coloring page. Once again, size it up, center it. And then we're going to head over to our text, add the heading. And as you already know, C is for cupcake. So same old, same old. Just put it up in the middle, center it. We're going to change that font size all the way up to 95 so that it's nice and visible. We're going to hit effects, we're going to hit splice, we're going to turn it white so that it's able to be colored in. And that's it. Look at that. You can even click on the coloring pages that are already done. Look at this cool spaceship one. I really like this one. I think my son would like it. Just something simple. You don't even have to sell these. Just something that you can have on hand once again for kids to color on these will also be really cool for weddings i know a lot of weddings are doing coloring stations for the kiddos that are invited to the weddings so this is something that you can do instead of going out and trying to buy coloring books i mean if you have canva this is free um i found another one i like this picture of a dog and i just thought that was so cool to add to the alphabet one that i was making so once again i typed in d is for and there's the photo of the dog same thing guys size it up go ahead and change the font to fredoka or whatever you like hit effects hit splice change the splice color to white 
And that's it. It is so easy to make these. I even went ahead and went on the bottom and typed in dog. So this one says D is for dog. I went ahead and centered it and I think it looks fantastic. Go ahead and download it. So easy. This is just probably one of the easiest things that you can do on Canva. Download it as a PDF print and then we're going to head on over to Etsy. Go ahead and go to your Etsy shop because this is also a great way to make some passive income. This is one of those digital products that everybody is always raving about, coloring pages. And you can even make coloring pages for adults, which are really popular right now. So we're gonna add a listing. I made this, it's a finished product. It was made between 2000 and 2020 and 2024. And then we're gonna add a title. You want the title to be keyword friendly, SEO friendly. SEO means search engine optimization, and you want it to be friendly to that. So I'm typing in coloring pages for preschoolers, alphabet coloring pages, learning coloring pages, something that people are going to type into the search engine. When you look for something, you type in what exactly you're looking for. If I just typed in alphabet coloring pages, yes, they would come up, but you want to add more. You want to use all 140 spaces that are allotted by Etsy. I even typed in ABC coloring pages, toddler coloring pages, Montessori activities. You want to make sure that your title is nice and full so that you are able to get the most possible searches and the most popular po possible, whoo, can't talk, the most possible people coming to your page and purchasing your product. So next, we're going to go ahead and add a mock-up, which I forgot to make. So I headed right back over to Canva, found my logo, go ahead and make it larger. And then we're going to make it transparent so that they can see it, but they kind of can't see it. That way, no one can steal your work. I made it transparent and I downloaded it as a PNG. And then we're going to head on back over to Etsy and upload it. At the end of this video or closer to the end of this video, I'm also going to show you how to make a more professional mock-up. This is something that I just did on the fly because like I said, I forgot to do it. Next, it's going to add you to upload your files. This is just an example. So obviously I didn't do the whole alphabet, but upload the files that the people are actually going to be using. And as so far, I only had two. So I just went ahead and uploaded those. Next in the description, once again, you want it to be SEO friendly, search engine optimization friendly. So I'm typing in just some, you know, keywords, you know, to get the description going, you know, coloring pages for toddlers and preschoolers, easy coloring activity for students. You want something that's searchable. And you also want to put in there, and I cannot emphasize this enough, you want to explain to people that they will not be receiving an actual product, but they will be receiving a digital download. This is a huge misconception that happens all the time when you sell digital products. People will purchase something and it'll be $1.99 and they're thinking they're getting a t-shirt for $1.99. No, ma'am, you are just getting an SVG. So make sure you put that in your description box that people are not going to be receiving a physical product, but a digital one so that they know. And then that's also your disclaimer so that you don't get in trouble with Etsy or that the customer doesn't write a bad review about you. So you want to always just be thorough and be clear. Next, we're going to add in our pricing. I priced this at a dollar. That's usually around the price point for coloring pages. And for quantity, you put in $999 so that you can get the maximum amount of buys. For category, I typed in coloring books. And then you want to move down to the attributes. Attributes are also important because they help people find your items. For theme, I put animals because there's animals in the coloring book. There's no holiday, but there is some color. So you can put white and I put the secondary color as black because all of the items in the coloring book are outlined in black. Tags, once again, I love Etsy because they give you so many opportunities to be discovered between the title, the description, the attributes, the tags you want to put in all the stuff and I know it can seem repetitive and redundant and annoying even 
to have to take the time to do this, but trust me, it is going to be well worth it. So type in as much as you can, use all 13 tags that they let you have, use every single last one of them. If you think it is something that is gonna be able to get your item discovered and get you in that passive income realm, go ahead and type it in. There's no material, so you can skip that. And then for shop section, I just typed in coloring pages um, because this is going to be a new area to my shop section. Go ahead and click on publish. Etsy always lets you know that you're gonna have to run them their money. It's about 20 cents per listing. And then you can view it on Etsy. And I liked this, but I wanted a better mock-up. So I headed back over to Canva, opened up a 10 by 10 custom design, and I went to elements and typed in desktop. Once you're in desktop, find something that you like. I loved this one because, ha, huh, it looks like young children. It looks like school. It looks like coloring. So I went ahead and sized it up so it fit and scooted it over so that we could see that cute little border. Then I went over into my uploads and uploaded the images that I would need for the mock-up. So I got the D is for dog one. And then I also made this other one that you guys will see on my YouTube thumbnail, the seashell one. What you want to do, I took the image and then I went to um, edit photo and I clicked shadows. Then you're going to click drop. That kind of gives it like a shadowy effect and it looks like real on the desktop. And then I got the seashell one, sized it down so that it looks more realistic sitting on the table. Adjust, adjust, adjust. When you're making mock-ups, it's all about adjustments. So make your adjustments, scoot it over. Once again, head to edit photo, head to shadows, click on drop, and boom, it looks great. I headed back over to Etsy, scrolled down in the listing and clicked on the mock-up, added it to it, and then slid it over so that it's the first thing that the person sees when they find my listing. And then I clicked publish changes. Go ahead and head back to your listings, click on it, and click on view in Etsy and boom, that's what your customer is going to see. I think this is a really cool, fun project. Thank you for watching and follow me for more DIY shenanigans. Bye.